Welcome to our channel. We are a full-time traveling family of three who have been on the road for over two years working as we go. We have ridden around mountains and climbed them, swum with seals and been chased by crocodiles, slipped through the mud and gone underground. We have stayed in sites with million dollar views, found incredible pink lakes and taken the roads less traveled. Thanks for joining us on our journey. We are tripping around Oz. Welcome to a new episode. We are on a farm. Yes. Did you see that coming? No more caravans for us. Nah. Well, at least for the next two weeks. <laughs> so we are actually doing a farm sit. So we are on a 16 acre hops farm and hobby farm. Yeah. Yeah. So the owners are off in Japan having a bit of a ski holiday and we are here chilling out, looking after all the animals. Pretty much. So I think we said we're here for two weeks. Uh, let's list the animals they have. So they have seven um, cows. Well, five cows and two calves. Yeah. Seven geese. Two goats. Two goats. A one sh sheep. Sheep, yeah. Two dogs. A guinea pig, a rabbit. And I feel like we've About missed... About 13 chickens. The chickens, I missed the chickens. Yes. Yeah. So there's quite a lot here to keep us occupied. And it's, yeah, going to be a really fun time, I think. No, I'm going to be relaxing. No driving for the next two weeks. No. So we've spent the last two days um, with the owners and they've just been showing us the ropes. We've been doing all the chores with them twice a day just so that we can learn how to do them all. I don't know how much of it's been dumbed down just to oh, all it. keep it all afloat while they're gone. I'm sure that it's, this is not, you know, yeah. everything that they do. They pretty much just told us the bare, been, uh, bare minimum to if anything goes wrong like yeah. how to fix water pumps what to look for in the animals like danger signs that they'll need the vet yeah making sure that all the filters are not blocked so they have rainwater and river water so they've got a pump so we have to obviously make sure the pump is working so that all the animals are getting their water and for the irrigation on the crops yeah so very very different life for us but we're very excited Yes. And we're going to bring you along for the ride. Hudson's excited. You excited? What? Are you excited for farm life? Mm. <laughs> I only need the dog. He I'm only cares dog. about the dogs, but he's excited. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. One of the other things that's great for us is this means it's free accommodation for us over Easter. Yeah. Which is saving us so much money. Yes, so, accommodation in Bustleton is like $100 a night. Yeah, which is insane. Anyway, uh, we'll sign off, but yeah, we'll see you over the course of the next two weeks and show you what we do here. Yeah. And we're also going to be exploring around this area too. If you like our content, please like this video and subscribe. It was recently brought to our attention that people think that subscribing costs you money. It actually doesn't. Subscribing just tells YouTube that you like what we're showing you and it'll just bring us up in your feed if we release a new video. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. I'm guessing this is a new episode because I have no idea. Probably. You've got, <laughs> you've got food in your beard. <laughs> I'm saving that. Uh, um, I don't know. Might be a new episode. Yeah. Okay. So we are at Bustleton at the moment at the foreshore. foreshore. Uh, I've got a Easter festival carnival rides and stuff on today. Yeah. It's actually for the whole week, I'm pretty sure. I think it's yeah, the whole school holidays. Yeah. So this is the first day. It's actually Easter Friday, so Good Friday today. And we've just come down for a day trip because tomorrow they have the Apple Festival on in Donnybrook, which is near where we're staying. And then Sunday's obviously Christmas. No. Easter. Oh my God. Sunday's obviously Easter. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go check it out. There's a lot of rides. So Hudson's probably gonna cost us a small fortune because he loves the rides. Yes. Oh crap, we're gonna have uh, two days in a row worth of rides. It's gonna get expensive. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go have some fun. We've come down early to try and get a spot to park and we've only just snagged one. So. Let's go and spend some money. Alright, 
that is the Easter Wonderland done for us. It's actually really small. Yeah, I was expecting slightly bigger, maybe some food vans. Yeah, there was no food vans. Anyway, so the boys did the Dodgem cars and Hudson, did you love the Dodgem cars? Yeah! Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to go suss out a couple of caravan parks because if we come down here, there's so many to choose from and some of them are really expensive, so... You know what, what are they? Uh, $99 a night 99 for... $99 a night for RAC. So even with the discount, it only goes like $10 down. It only goes down $10 a night, so... But we're thinking that might be because it's school holidays over Easter weekend. Yeah, so I've got to double check it, but we're going to go have a look anyway because it's hard to tell from Wiki sometimes what would be the better option. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go do that and then head back to the farm. Sounds yeah. good. Alright, something I do want to talk about really quick and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. Um, I actually had a bit of a medical issue and required an ambulance to be called to the property to take me to hospital. I'm okay now, obviously. It's the next day, but it wasn't great at the time. So I just want to take this time to remind you if you are going to be traveling or you are traveling you need to make sure you've organized ambulance cover so we are from Queensland which means we are covered in every single state so when we get the bill for the ambulance we just send it to Queensland and they will pay it for us however if that wasn't the case and we didn't have a separate ambulance cover we could be up for the bill so I know in some states you either get it through your insurance or you actually pay a separate ambulance cover. So just look into that. It's all very state dependent, but just make sure whatever you have covers you nationwide for ambulance call outs because it happens when you sort of least expect it. Like I definitely didn't expect to need an ambulance last night. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm not gonna go into details cause you know, medical and whatnot, but I'm okay. Hey everyone, so what is it? It's probably the chickens got out. Uh, day two of farm life. So we've just been sort of getting to know all of the routines. We spent two days with the owners going over like all the stuff we have to do while they're away. And um, we're just checking, they've got a water pump that down in the creek and it's running but nothing's on. So she said if that happens, potentially in the top paddock, the cows may have knocked um, their water hose. So Dion's actually getting the K-van ready to drive down here it comes. It's this little Japanese ute that they've got and he's going to drive it down there and um, check it out. So let's go have a look at the K-Van. <laughs> hey! In your little teeny tiny ute, it's so small. It's not a ute, it's a truck. It's, oh, it's a truck, is it? It's called a K-truck. <laughs> I, oh, I, I thought it was a K-van. Oh, K-van, K-truck. Ute body would be the K-truck. How much room's in there? Oh, yeah? yeah enough. All right. Cool, you going for a ride up to the top, are you? Yeah. All right. Well, have fun. Don't run over the chicken because he's over there somewhere. Yeah, you can't pass. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> As you can tell, the boys are loving farm life. So we actually drove down to Bustleton yesterday. It's only about 40 minutes from here and it's the Easter long weekend and we we're just scoping out where we might go after the farm. And we went through a walk, sorry, we went for a walk through some of the um, caravan parks down there and they were just absolute chaos. And we were just like, oh my God, get us back to the farm. Just want to be back where it's nice and quiet. And we don't have like a million people crowding you. So I'll just show you. So this is so this is where we're parked up. So car van, and then over here we have the chickens. What are you doing out of the? Wait, you're supposed to be in there. You escaped. This one is a Houdini. Keeps getting in and out. Here we go the chickens. Uh, anyway, yes, yeah, so we get to go collect the eggs twice a day. So the boys have been loving having their fresh eggs. And behind us, they actually have pick your own or oh, juju berries. I'm going to check that. Uh, but it's an Asian type of berry. And yeah, they let people come pick their own during the right season. So the boys have been trying some of that. So the boys have been trying some of those. 
apparently they taste a bit like a grape cross an apple and they're about oh, that big so we might have to find one later to show you guys but we just finished our chores for the night so every morning we get up and do chores and same with every afternoon and yeah we'll pretty much just show you around the farm and show you our time here What did you just teach Hudson? That back in my day, you had to wind your windows to put them up. <laughs> He's never seen a car with actual manual windows. <laughs> did you put the window up? What? Did you put the window up on your own? Yep. Yep, oh, you, oh, and you can put the seatbelt on in this car, it's because it's made for small people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> it's even got the Japanese writing over there. Yeah. Look on the door. Oh. Are oh, you going to wind it up, are you? Okay. Oh, I'm winding it down. It's taking like two hands for him to do it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough windows. Go, Dad. See ya. Alright, we don't normally do cooking stuff, but seeing as we're on a farm, let's do some cooking stuff. So, so this is some kid-friendly pancakes. Can you hear the rooster? Uh, this is what I cook for Hudson when I have bananas that need to be used and I don't feel like making banana bread. So it's very, very simple and it only makes about two or three good sized pancakes per batch. So it's perfect just for some afternoon tea or whatnot. All right, so this is actually a double batch, um, but to make one lot, you just need one banana, one egg, two tablespoons of self-raising flour and a little bit of vanilla essence. So yeah, I've made a double batch because it's going to be morning tea. And yeah, kids love it. And Hudson's currently doing his reading eggs, so you yes, can hear that. So yeah, I'll show you how they look when they finish. This is what your batter should look like. I just use a fork to smush the bananas and then give it a mix. It is a little bit lumpy. Um, depends how far you want to go, but this is how I cook it and uh, boys don't complain. All right, so these are what they look like when they're done. So it made six big pancakes. They're probably a, a little cooked. Yeah, they already ate some. Good. So yeah, easy banana pancakes that are probably healthy. Probably. Probably. <laughs> hey Hudson, do you like living on the farm? Yeah. Which part do you like the best? Dogs. The dogs? What about the cows and the chickens and the goats and the sheep? Well, mostly the dogs and the chickens and the, the the geese. The geese? You like the geese? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Like the rabbit. Oh, oh yeah, the rabbit as well. The rabbit as well? Like the the rabbit that, that likes grass and yeah. hay and and also and also Jerry. Jerry the guinea pig? Yep. Oh. You ready to do some afternoon chores? I was having a good nap. He was having a nap. He pulled him from his nap. So there is a lot less chores in the afternoon at the farm and me and Dion have on our Japanese safety boots. But Hudson has proper boots on for farm life. So anyway, so we'll show you the afternoon activities and tomorrow, if we remember, we will film the morning activities so you can see what we do on this farm. Well, there's a chicken! There's a chicken. Do you think you laid any eggs? I think I... This one might be. Uh, I don't know. Keep it on my view. Yeah, the chicken's in there. The chicken's in there. I'll pick it up and move it. Oh, do you reckon he's laid any eggs? Yeah. You're going to pick him up or you want me to pick him up? Yeah. I'll hold it. Alright, can you hold the camera? Ready? Oh, hello. Hello. Did you lay us any eggs? Did you lay us any eggs today? Oh, I see some eggs. How many? Two eggs today. You guys have been on strike. Thank you. You won't even. Doesn't even kill me. Two Don't eggs. No. Done now. Damn eggs, you get. Two eggs. I don't actually know what you saw about us showing, getting them, because Hudson was filming and he was distracted. Chicken distraction. All right, let's go. Two eggs to replace the eggs I used today. Can I get China? On, on average, we normally get between two and four eggs a day. It's good. What have you got? 
sneaky afternoon beverage. Got to farm life properly. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go feed these animals. Actually, it's no one you're feeding now, is there? No, no more feeding, just putting them away, checking they've still got water. We just go to the top hike today and check the other cows. Uh, they were all standing up when I drove out this morning. Daddy? Okay, did you check the water? Daddy? No. no. Yes, Hello, Biggie. Hi, darling. This is Biggie. He's only about four months old and he is a St. Bernard. And this is Coco. I think she's a Kelpie. And she's the farm dog. So normally she does the rounds with us, but we're only doing a quick one today. So she's staying to keep Biggie company. Hey, I know. Hey, hey. All right, let's go. Shall we get all of them? Let's go to bed. Hey, Gacy. Come on. Hey, Gacy. Gacy. Let's go. Bedtime. Whoa, nope. Let's go. Hudson, if you skip too close to them, they are going to come at you. Did I tell you if you go too close? Hey. Let's go, come on. Let's go, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Huh? Let's go, come on. They run, they're so cute. Mom. Look, here are the goats, they're following us. It's a nugget and a clips. Hey guys, how you going? But who's going? Nugget? Uh, I think, I think Nugget's the little one. I could be wrong. Ah, uh, Nugget's the black one, which means you're Eclipse. I thought Eclipse was the one with the black one because you know, Eclipse. So they have an elderly sheep called Mickey and he's he's like a proper old man. He's grumpy and he huffs and puffs and walks around. Anyway, he wasn't down here, but he's down the back today. So we'll show you Mickey. The geese are just putting themselves to bed. It's a little bit earlier than we normally do, but maybe half an hour tonight. So we can go and cook dinner and get to bed. Ah, still the geese. There's Mickey. <laughs> Good job, Mickey. Oh, you can't go in there, mate. Oh, please don't. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm gonna get him out. It's never happened before, has it? <laughs> Mickey, what are you in with the geese for? Come on. Hey, Mickey, come on. Come Stay on. Here. Mickey. Mickey. Hey, come on. Come on. Mickey. Come, come on. Mommy. Come on, Mickey. Might need hey. the door open a bit more. Hey, you coming out? Mickey. Mm. Might need the door open a bit more for his belly to fit through. <laughs> Are you saying he's got a big belly? <laughs> Come on, Mickey. Coming out? Stay here, Hudson. Hi, There's wasps in that grapevine, that's why. Dion's being a bit cautious. Come on, Mickey. Coming out. Come on. Coming out. That's it. Good job, Mickey. Come, Come on. on. Come on. out. You don't want to be in there with the geese, mate. Yeah, that's a good decision. Come on. Back up, Hudson. Back up. Back up. There we go. Good job, Mickey. That was hilarious. The one day we bring the camera down. 
he goes in. I heard that. Wait, wait, how do you do a burp? Good work. Yes. Yeah. Don't know if you had to see. Yeah, just in all the fruit. There's bees and wasps. Pretty much it's a old grapevine that they don't use. And yeah. Because the berries are just left there. All the bees and wasps come down and eat them. Everybody's here today. We got honey. Um, blossom. Blossom and what's the other one? Frida. Frida. Oh, they're having a little like, hey, how you going date? So yeah, we've got one cow, two calves, two goats. All right, we are at I'm going to say like maybe day five on the farm and I'm going to take you with me as we go and feed the cows. So there are four cows in the top paddock and they don't need to be fed because they just eat the grass and hay and stuff in the paddock. We just need to check that their water is all good. Um, but we do have our beautiful girl Honey here who has two babies that she is feeding at the moment. So I'll show you Honey. Here you go darling, hello. And uh, yes, yeah, she gets a special diet while she is producing milk to keep them fed and growing. Now the babies are only about one month old. So right, see if they'll stay. They're a little skittish. This is Blossom and Frida. Bit hard to see because they're right in the shadows, but they might come down. Hey, honey girl, you ready for some dinner? You want some food? All right, let's see. When I walk down the hill, a lot of the time she will just follow. So I will see you down there. All right, so this is the dairy. Shut that door. And then I don't think she's coming yet. We might have to call her down. Oh, here they come. I didn't have to call you guys. Hello. You ready for some dinner? So there you go, you can see the babies now. And honey, you gonna come round? All right, let's get her food ready. Here she comes, ready for her dinner. Hello, darling. You ready to eat? You're too quick for me today, I don't have it ready yet. Okay, hey honey. Hi darling. And there's Blossom. Hey Blossom. Look how cute she is. She's so fluffy. All right, I'll get you some food, yeah? All right. Oh, hang on, spilled it up. That is very handy. All right. So we put... So the next thing is after she gets her bowl of like grains and whatnot, she also gets some hay. One thing that surprised me was how heavy a bale of hay is. So anyway, we're gonna cut some of that up for her. I'm gonna show you something as well. They've got two uh, bits of twine around it and you have to also make sure you cut that up because you don't want her eating the twine. So one is like this blue color, and then there's another one next to it, which is like pink. 
which you can see over there, the pink twine. She's uh, waiting for a hay. Alright, so let's get this chopped up. There you go. Sorry, that got you, didn't it? Okay, and that is the process we do twice a day to feed honey. Um, now, obviously, I don't know what it's like on other farms. I don't know if this is what other farmers do, but this is what this particular farm wants for their particular animals. Remember, they've got two calves to feed. So um, yeah, we're just following instructions. It might even have been simplified for us just to do easy things while they're gone. I'm not sure, but these were the instructions we were given. And we are just keeping an eye that the cows look healthy. They've given us a list of things to look out for. You know, if they're not hanging out with the other cows, if they're not doing zoomies for the babies, if they're looking sunken on the sides, if they're not eating their hay, like all sorts of different things. And if any of that happens, we just message the owners. So they're in Japan at the moment. And I actually was a bit worried at one point that maybe the babies weren't drinking enough milk because I thought mum's udders were looking a bit engorged. Um, so I just sent her a message with what I thought and a picture of the udders and she was able to tell me that it was actually fine. But it was really nice just to have that support to make sure we're looking after these animals the best we can for the owners uh, while they're away and so that they can enjoy their holiday knowing that the farm is in safe hands. So we also have to shovel the poop. Um, they said we don't have to if we absolutely don't want to. Um, but I find that the flies get really bad down here if we don't. And obviously because she's eating in the same spot every day, the poo just builds up. So yeah, fun times. Okay, so that wraps up this week's video. Join us next week when we will be showing you some more farm life along with us going to Gnomesville. Frog's Hollow, Wellington Dam, Wellington Dam, and all the other places that we see whilst we are in the Donnybrook area. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and we will see you next week.